to do a quick little education on the UVA ray and the UVB ray. The UVB ray is the burning ray, so that's when we look down at our skin and it's getting pink and we know we need to get out of the sun. It has a shorter wavelength that primarily stays in the epidermis, but it is absorbed into that top layer of the dermis called the papillary dermis. And it is highly associated with squamous cell carcinoma. And it starts to activate these little enzymes that start breaking down our um, collagen and elastin. The UVA ray is what I call the aging ray that has a lot longer uh, wavelength that actually penetrates down here into the dermis. And this is where we produce our collagen and elastin. The primary importance of a UVA ray is to know that it's out 24 seven. It's out on cloudy days. Um, any season you can be getting UVA damage and it penetrates glass, which means it's coming through your car window, your uh, windows in your home. If you're in an office and you sit next to a window, you're getting UVA damage. If you're not wearing a uh, sunscreen, a broad spectrum sunscreen every day, which we should be, we are constantly getting bombarded by this UVA ray and it accumulates, which then starts uh, the cascade of a cell death, uh, these fibroblasts down here, this is, these little guys help uh, make our collagen, it starts to slow down, those cells can actually die, um, and then that's when we get, we see wrinkling, pigment in our skin, and the rough texture of our skin. So, use a broad spectrum sunscreen to protect yourself from both of these rays, and you should be wearing it daily, at least an SPF 30.